Hey, what's up? I'm Al Cox. I play games, make games, and everything in between. And today in BuildBox, I'm going to be making my own custom smart asset, which is going to be comprised of a bunch of different nodes to have some cool effects, both in how the character moves, rotates, and shoots. Knowing how all the individual pieces work will help you when you're just creating a game from scratch. Let's go. Before I begin, if you like making games or learning how to make games in BuildBox, be sure to like and hit that bell. Here we have a simple template. I want to make a shooting game. That means we're going to need objects. Okay, I got a poly ball. And let's just go ahead and build out this. And I want this tube to be the main character. Let's see how we can do that. First things first is we're going to be moving down to up. So right now we have the start at zero and the end at at negative zero. We're gonna want the end to be up maybe like 20 Y. This means we'll need to change the ground to be at angle of 90. I'm gonna duplicate this cube and call this one a wall. Yeah, that's good. Make the tube a little bigger. I'm gonna want the tube to be my main character. Go ahead and move the tube here and then let's call it character. Touch move, the touch rotate. And the touch move will have it move to its X and Y. No movement of Y. So let's see if this moves it left and right. Cool. And we're gonna want a position limiter to limit how far to the left and right will be able to move. Let's go to action, position limiter. Nope, it's just camera zoom animation. It's not what we want, position limiter right here. Here, we're gonna have an X of negative three, three, Y max of 99, and then a zero of negative two. Z negative one to one. We're not really gonna be moving too much in the Z direction. To be safe, we should keep position limiter to Z zero, 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 and then that will allow it to stay there. So this is three, this is four. Okay, so we're going to keep it at four. I'd like this wall to be at negative four, actually. So let's look four. So this shouldn't really be at five. 5.25 looks a little better. Take a look at the camera view. Camera view is not on perfect X zero, which is what we want. And then I also want is touched, enabled, and then nothing to happen when it's pressed, but when it's released, I would like on an object and then that object be a poly ball. Wait, did I select the poly ball here? Poly ball, object physics, collision shape sphere, bounce point five. So now I go into the poly ball. Whenever this is spawned, I would like there to be a random set color. Now I want to do a move node, but I don't want the move to be constant. So maybe this will work. The State machine, I'm not sure. Let's give it a try. We're gonna move it up a Y value of five. I wanna launch the ball. I don't want it to move away. Here we can see the ball is being launched at a weird scale angle. The character is scaled at 2Y, which also makes the spawn scale at 2Y. So we need to go in here, select polyball, and then do something like this for 0.5 of a scale. And that should fix that. So we go in, no, not so much. I wanted to touch rotate. That would make it move zero in the Y. Okay, so this is good. So I do want this to move accordingly. A couple things we need to go in, change this to 111 as it's spitting everything out weird. Now I am curious if we change this to two, that sensitivity of 25. Here, if we get the ball to spawn, I have a delay node here, and the orange five, that out. It does look like things are spawning exponentially, which is gonna be an issue on processing power, but for now, it looks kinda of cool. Balls don't have physics, and it's spawning way too fast, so let's go here, 0.5, open this, a ball with no physics. 
So that's gravity. Yeah, I would love the ball to just shoot up, but not like forever. So the move node moves things permanently. Up direction of Y for five, and then it only goes Y, five. Do we want a motor? I mean, we could go in kinematic Y here. What if I do follow rotation? How does that look? So things kind of get a little bit crazy. Wall at physics, static. Let's see how these bounce out. Okay, these are kind of sticking, which is interesting. I mean, uh, these balls are going everywhere, sticking to the cube. Cool, at exactly sure why that's happening. We look in the character has a spawn of a single ball, and then that spawn creates more spawns. A lot of spawning happening, and not in the way that I believe is supposed to happen. We're gonna need to reconsider this. Let's not have it loop, and I'm gonna add 0.25. Maybe it's just better to just have it spawn consistently as opposed to when you let go of a touch. Have it loop. And there you can see that the ball is still rotating, so that's kind of cool. Although as these balls spawn, they're spawning way too big. And then let's check out the poly ball. The move. Here, here the balls are just falling down, not shooting up. And this does seem like it's going faster, but maybe it's the same speed. Oh, you know what we can do? We can change it to kinematic, and then if it collides with anything, it can become dynamic. Here's just set the kinematic, and then if collide with anything, set physics to dynamic. Let's see how this works. Now, just to be clear, when these balls load up, they're still really big. Like, I don't want them to be this big. Oh, shit. Cool, so all the balls are kinematic unless they touch something, in which case they then become dynamic. So that was cool. Let's maybe add more bounce to it, too. Reload. Do if collide set physics and then also maybe scale it to make it be smaller. Now I want to put zero zero because I'm hoping this will make it smaller. Let's find out. See if they collide with each other. No. But I bet you doing negative one will cause something to happen. Yeah, so something like that. The, trick, the problem is, is if it gets stuck. Okay, cool. Now I'm trying to just make those bullets smaller and I'm not sure why it's not working because right now when the character bonds the asset, here we go, maybe this is why, let's change this to 0.15. Multiple, so if collide should be a sphere, 0.15. I'm going to go in here and just add this 0.15. Not sure if that'll do anything. Let's check that out. Sure. Okay, don't think that was helpful. Okay, maybe here, 0.15. I think that should make it smaller. 0.5.5. Cool, looks good. I'm gonna check the collision on this poly ball. Better save it right now. Should have been saving it the whole time. Touch, rotate, move, shoot, mechanic. Now we got the tube shooting out balls. I wanna go to the asset pit cylinder. Let's grab this one, move it over here, rotate this at a 90 degrees. Take a look and now I'm curious if we add it as a dynamic object. Okay, so it just flies off and we're gonna add zero friction, zero bounce to see if that helps it. So not, not really. Okay, cool. So very cool. Now a position limiter to it. Okay, so let's go here, hit cylinder, position limiter. What we're gonna do is make sure it doesn't move forward, move towards the screen so it moves towards the camera of the screen. We always want it to be hitable by a ball and we don't want it to get in a X coordinate that would not allow it to be hit by a ball. To do that, we just add a position limiter. Right now it can be to X negative four, X four, Y negative one, 25, and then Z, we're gonna try to keep this at zero so it stays here. Watch as it goes up. I give it a mass of 0.25, add some more of these. The cool thing is we can also change the sizes of these. Then just create like a shooting mechanism. Goes like that. It looks like five hits take these guys out. So we're gonna give them a health of 25 and see how that looks. 
Alright, let's change the gravity to negative two. Should be super easy. As we can see that go into the world, let's check out the poly ball again. Maybe reduce the bounce to point one. Make it just one and we're gonna be playing with the physics here. So it looks like hit cylinder was able to move out of its position. Maybe it's good to point 0 0.5 to 0.5. Maybe that'll be helpful. Yeah, it looks like it goes into the world. Currently, the object is at 0z. So we should probably position limiter, keep it on 0z, 0, 0.5. 0, As you see, I kind of got a beginning of a gameplay going here. I can go from here and then hit export asset, which will save the character and all the touch rotate, touch move, and the things that I've done on this game mechanic. Well, I'm not exactly sure how I'm gonna build this game out, but I like the shooting ability and that the little poly balls get smaller after they touch an object. So a lot of cool things. When experimenting with BuildBox, you just gotta try new things. A lot of trial and error. Find the more you play around with the no-code nodes and put them together, change them around a little bit. The more you learn of how the different functionalities can interact with each other, creating a unique game mechanic that may have never been before seen. So playing with BuildBox is a must, a lot of fun. Gotta learn the basics before you can just play around or it just gets kind of frustrating. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. If you got any comments, suggestions of what you would like to see, let me know because I'm always curious and I will see you next time. Peace.